Easy people, hope everyone's doing okay. We are in the town of, or city, Banyaluka. Banyaluka, I think that's about as good a pronunciation you're gonna get from me. And today, wasn't actually intended on making a video. I was hoping for a simple bus journey to my next destination. I went to the bus stop that I was dropped off at a couple of days ago. And I asked for a ticket and she said, no, 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 this is a local bus route. So you need to get to the, well, she didn't. She was asking for somebody in the queue. Could they speak English? Some kind lady stepped forward. She told me you need to get to the central bus station, which is about 10 kilometers from here. And then you need to catch a different bus and another bus. And it was at that moment that I realized, right, this is going to be a challenge. This is going to be an adventure. It's probably not going to run smoothly. Who knows where I might end up, because look, I've ended up here just on a pure chance. So that's why the camera's come out and you're going to come along with me. So anyway, I need to try and find this central bus station. Not many speak English, which is not a problem. I should speak a bit of Bosnian, if anything, but I can't. So this is the challenges that we face. But anyway, we're going to try and get to the next destination one way or another. And I don't mind where I go. I was pointing at many places on the map to the lady back there. Just get me a ticket anywhere. I'll go anywhere right now. So we'll see what happens and we'll see where we we'll end up. Let's give you a little spin around of the shopping centre here. Boska. There you see it. So this is the second biggest town in Bosnia, second biggest city rather. Population of 200,000 people. As I said, it's not um, overly populated Bosnia. The cities are not big. It's lots of spaced out, lots of greenery, natural areas. But this city is the second largest. And it's good, I enjoy it. But there's not much here to keep me here any longer than I've been here already. I've been in the spas, they were good, recommend them. Little walk around. Um, yeah, it's time to move on. So anyway, let's go and try and find this central bus station. Okay, I see a bus in front of me. I have no idea, actually. It's already going, I think. <laughs> oh, let's go and ask, let's go and ask. We'll soon find out. Yeah, central bus station. Central bus station. No, not this one. Ah, uh, yeah, voila. Ten, number ten. Ah, uh, number ten bus. Good man, voila. Thank six. Six bus. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. There you go, number six. Number six. I think that's uh he did say ten at the beginning, so I'm not too sure whether he understood what I said. But uh we'll find out. We'll find out. Maybe it was ten minutes and number six bus. Who knows, who knows? We'll soon find out. Like I said, who knows what's gonna happen today. Uh, second bus, we'll try again, we'll try again. <laughs> Got number 10 on, so I'm gonna hope that that guy was giving me the right indication with his hands up. I can see center, I can see center. Center, center, huh? See, there we go. Un, un, see. Oh, no ticket? That's it, how much? Huh? That's it? Sure? Yeah. No change, huh? Uh huh. Thank you. To the driver again. Again. <laughs> voila. Yes. Ah, oh, good man. Ah, voila, voila. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hold on. <laughs> Get that change in that pocket. Right, we're on. So we're going to the central bus station now, hopefully. And then we'll find out from there where we're going to go. in the distance so I'm thinking this should be the bus station this bus is getting empty so I hope it is 
surely. I will soon find out. <laughs> Won't be the first time I end up in the wrong destination, will it? Bus, bus station, central. Yes. Central, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, voila, voila. There we go. Voila, voila. Thank you. Good day. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> there we are. So we're here now. Like I said, I haven't got a destination in mind. I was pointing at all types of places on the map. So we'll go and see if we can get a ticket somewhere and then we'll keep this video going. <laughs> Try and find a ticket hall now. If it actually is a bus station like that. You might just buy the ticket on each individual bus, maybe. It's difficult, <laughs> difficult to know for sure. Uh, let's go and see if this gentleman speaks. Hello, uh, ticket, bus ticket. Uh, uh, billete, billete. Ticket, bus, bus ticket. Ah, bus ticket. Oh, on, on the bus. Ah, voila, voila. So on the bus. So now I need to... <laughs> I don't even know a timetable or anything. <laughs> um, it, oh, let's, let's go and try somewhere else. We'll have a little... We'll have a little walk around. Matty boy's laughing. He's laughing. Hi, buddy. <laughs> ticket. Ticket. Bus. Uh, ticket. No, 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 no. <laughs> He oh. <laughs> thought airport. No, definitely not the airport. Well, let's go and have a little look over at this timetable. <laughs> this might be a long day, a long, long day. Yeah, I can't make anything out on there. Dear, oh dear. Let's go. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's the driver. <laughs> That's the driver from the bus. He's just waved me over. He's waved me over. Called me in. Yeah, good, good. Voila, voila. <laughs> In here? In here, yeah? Ah, thank you. Thank you, sir. What, you buy a bus ticket? Bus ticket? Ah. Hello. You buy a bus, bus ticket? Bus ticket? Yeah, from here? No. No, from through there. Voila. There we go. I'm getting, I'm getting to the right place now. Over there. Big, big building. The Three. The black one. Dark. Ah, voila, sir. You have a good day. There we go. So we're just over here. That was uh, <laughs> pretty helpful from the bus driver there because I would have been walking around like, an, like a muppet, like an absolute muppet that I am. I told you this was going to be an adventure. Let's go and get this bus ticket. There we go. Autobuska. Autobuska. I'll have to remember that for future because no doubt <laughs> this will happen again. Autobuska stan, Stanica. Autobuska Stanica. Banya Luca. Banya Luca. That is where we are. This random town, even though it isn't that random because it's the second biggest one here in Bosnia. Let's get a bus ticket. All right. Have a little a timetable somewhere. Uh huh. Tickets. Ticket. Let's go and find out. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just disappeared. <laughs> I did have a timetable there and then it disappeared. Uh, yeah, a timetable. A time, timetable. No, no timetable. Uh, okay, I need to make a plan. Go on, please, buddy. No timetable, so I've got to just pick a, pick a place then and then uh, we'll rock and roll with that, so. <laughs> Do you know what? I might even end up in Croatia. I don't even know if I can get to Croatia from here. We'll soon find out. I'll ask in a moment. Hello. You have a bus to split? Not, not to split. Um, ah. not, not going to Croatia. Let's go to... Hello. Uh, 
This one? Um, um, it's, on, it's on me, it's on me, it's on me, not on you, it's on me. Uh, Buster Tuzla? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> not to Tuzla either. Wow. This, is, this isn't going uh, according to plan at the minute. Z Zenica? Today, 2.30. 2.30. Ah, uh, this destination, three hour? Three hour. Oh, okay, yeah, Zenica. There we go. We've got somewhere. I wasn't planning to go to these places, but <laughs> I'm just going with the adventure right now. So, 28 and a half. 28 and a half. Uh -huh. There is 20, 20, 20. So that is 14, 14 English pound for the bus journey. It's pretty good. Platform six. Platform six uh, uh, Bala, Bala, Bala. Thank you. There we go. So <laughs> I'm going to Zeneca. I don't even know what's in Zeneca. I don't even know pretty much anything. I'm just going blind at the minute. Just rolling around. Paid for that, I've got a two hour wait. I've already eaten before I came here today. I stopped for a little Mexican just um, before I went to that other bus station. Thinking that I was gonna be on the bus for some time going to my next destination, but it hasn't played out like that. So anyway, there's a moral in this story and that is plan ahead. Plan ahead, don't just try and wing it because you might end up in a little bit of bother like me. Anyway, we've got a bus ticket now. We're going to Zenica. Zenica. <laughs> well, that bus station that I got dropped at, that is the local bus station. This is the national bus station here. Got the platforms on number six. So that is where we shall be leaving from in two hours time, two hours time. There ain't much here as you've already seen, so I'm not exactly too sure what I'm gonna do. I'm not hungry. I don't drink at the moment. It's been two and a half years now I haven't had a beverage of alcohol, so yeah, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? We're actually pretty close to Croatia, split to be precise. That is why I was asking to go there. And then I was gonna drift back into Bosnia at a later date. But not to be, not to be. So anyway, we're going to Zenica now. The reason I picked Zenica or Tuxla, I was just looking at the map and they were the biggest ones <laughs> close by just before you get back to Sarajevo. Um, I've been to Sarajevo before, so I'd like to see somewhere different. This may backfire because I have no idea if there's anything there. Um, we'll soon find out. And then after that, I want to try and get down to Mostar. So anyway, it's Zenica first. <laughs> I think we'll go back to that sports cafe where the first brush driver invited me in and the guy directed me to the ticket station. This seems to be a little run down, a lot of derelict buildings in this area. That seems to be a new bus station of some sort. Maybe the redevelopment hasn't extended to the restaurants and cafes yet. Not judging, just giving you a fairly obvious observation of things here. I've managed to get myself a peppermint tea, which is all good. I'll find if there's any Wi-Fi, but if not, I may just start editing the first video for you. I haven't got round to it yet. I was enjoying my time in the in the town there, around the spas, going for a few walks. Really could um, notice the fresh air. It was it was really really good. So anyway, we'll crack on for a little bit and wait for this bus to arrive, and I'll get me peppermint tea. Happy days. That is my peppermint tea, and the price is two Bosnian marks and that is one euro. It's quite an easy exchange rate. You just half it and that's the euro and then the English pound is obviously just under the euro so probably around 90, 90 pence just give or take a little bit so really good value for um, all things here in Bosnia. So I've had my four cups of peppermint tea, only two tea bags. I refilled it twice. I've got Scottish roots so we're very good at <laughs> improvising and making full use of things. Now we've got 15 minutes before the bus leaves, so we're gonna head over to the station. I've got a few snacks from earlier, but I'm hoping there's another shop somewhere just to pick up a few little bits to keep us going, and we shall board this bus. Mm. 
got a little shop here. As I said, you only need to half it, and that is the price in euro. It's about 150 for them. I don't eat crisps, so it's no good to me. Too cold for an ice cream. I've got a bag of nuts already. <laughs> don't do fizzies. <laughs> it's not looking good for me in this. Oh, what we got here? Let's have a little check. Dry pretzels, probably. Dry croissant, maybe. Uh, the chocolate. What's the price of that? Can't see a price. Don't really want cheese anyway. Wouldn't mind a little chocolate one if there was one. To be honest. Is it? Is that uh, chocolata? Choc chocolata? Uh huh. No. Yes. It's chocolata. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think we'll go. We'll go for that. We'll get one of them. Just something just to keep you going. You never know. The last thing you want to do is be getting hungry with a journey in mind. And as I said, I'm pretty pretty limited here. I've got quite a big bag of nuts with me. So I think a little chocolate snack. And I've got two bananas as well. So yeah, we'll be all right. We'll just go with this. Slano. Da. Oh, it's a sandwich. Da, možete se uzeti nešto ako vam treba. Ili ovako nešto, jaz, čiz. Aha. Ovo vam je namazi. Ovo je jogurt. Oh, jogurt? Ja, i čokoladno mlijeko. Ok, I might take one of these yogurts, yeah. Ovo je. Vala, vala. Ah, yeah, let's go for that. I need to come around. My bag will get in the way. Ah, thank you, vala. There we go, we'll get, we'll get a little uh, vanilla yogurt as well to wash down the old chocolate croissants. That was very, thank you. Voila. Water, there we go. We'll see how much this is. As I said, you just half it, and that's euro, and then English pound is obviously take about 10% off. Normally gets you, give or take, a slight discrepancy. Four mark. Four mark, there you go. So that's under two English pound. That is incredible value for that. Got a yogurt, a few little croissants, and a good litre of water. Voila. Voila, voila. Is it voila, voila? Voila, voila. Voila, voila. Oh, it's no good, huh? <laughs> oh, it's a bag, it's okay. Oh, I said no English, English, see. Yeah, see. So, so. Little, little, huh? <laughs> uh, ciao, ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. You always get by. You can always get by one way or another. <laughs> anyway, how long we got? Should be. Can't see the time. I think we, we haven't got long. Oh, that might be us there. Is it? No, that's number seven. I'm number six. Let me get myself uh, in order and then we'll get out there. <laughs> I don't know if you have to scan it or just go through. I don't know. Oh. You do scan it. Ah, there it is. There was a barcode on the top. It was fo folded over. I couldn't see it. I wasn't being stupid for a change. Genuinely couldn't see that little bit that was folded over. Anyway, half past two, platform six. We're ready to rock and roll. Number six, that is us. We are ready to head to Zenica. I booked the hotel as well. Cost me 21 euro, which again is a little bit more expensive than most of the other places that I've seen here in Bosnia. I'm not exactly too sure why. I'm not a tourist one, perhaps. We'll find out when we get there. Anyway, the bus is here. Let's get loaded on and we'll make our way to Zenica. Oh, that's a toilet, that is, that is good to know. It's only three and a half hours, but if you need a toilet and there ain't one, it can be a bit of a problem. So anyway, we're on. <laughs> we're on the bus to Zenica. What a random little trip I'm having so far in Bosnia. I'm supposed to end up in Sarajevo three days ago. I end up in Borja, Borja Luka. <laughs> now I'm going to Zenica, so you just got to roll with it sometimes in the flow state, as they say.
four hours later and that is us. We have made it to Zeneca. I'm pretty tired. That bus was the hottest bus I've ever been on in my life. I'm not exaggerating. Heating was full blast. Uh, no way to turn it down, nothing like that. So I'm absolutely roasting and shattered. And I'm about three, four kilometers from my hotel. And I'm pretty hungry too. So I don't know whether to get something to eat around here then go to my hotel or just get to the hotel now. So give me a little minute to work out what I'm doing, see how far things are, and then we'll, we'll keep rolling. Hey, we're on the move, we're on the move. I've decided to walk to the hotel, and if I see any food on the way, we'll stop for food. This already feels like a bigger place than the last one, believe it or not. I know it said that was the second biggest city, but this one actually feels bigger than the brief research that I've done, very, very brief research that I've done. It is a university town, so maybe that's why it feels a little a little bit more lively, a little bit more things happening. Anyway, we're gonna crack forward, keep it moving, and hopefully we'll find some food along this journey to the hotel. That's no, just a guess, but I may be in the hood right now. Maybe in one of the hoods. <laughs> just gonna try and keep a low profile as I'm holding a camera. <laughs> anyway, whatever happens, happens, eh? <laughs> gone a little eerily quiet <laughs> if anything happens it was nice knowing you <laughs> I'm messing I'm messing Bosnia's cool Bosnia's safe yeah it's definitely the hood yeah, it's definitely the hood all right that is my bridge right there that I need to take and I'm hoping <laughs> I ain't gonna fall down going up this little slope right now Ah, all good, all good. All right, we're getting there slowly but surely. Hopefully after this bridge, should be a bit more built up area again. Is this a walkway? Yeah, it's got a pathway, that's all good for me. And I believe that is the river Bosna. The river Bosna right there. Huge river in Bosnia, hence its name. <laughs> Oh, it's an educational process with me all the way, isn't it? What an educational process it is with me. <laughs> that bright light in the distance, this side of the road, that is where we are going. We're at the destination, thank goodness, because I don't advise walking up a road like that. Had I known, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. But anyway, I used precaution, stayed as far over as I could, ended up in a ditch at one point, but hey, we're all good. We're all good. Don't want to speak too soon, but we're there. I can see the destination in the distance. I am so hungry. I hope they got food. This is a hotel, by the way. This isn't a hostel this time. Uh, 21 euro I've paid. So around 19 English pound, 38 English pound for two nights. And, and there's a breakfast included, which is music to my ears, I've got to say. And there it is. Got the petrol station. Motel Almi. Looks fairly nice from the outside. Let's go and check into this room. I'm exhausted, I've got to say. <laughs> ah, oh, I forgot, I forgot it. Double, double. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice reception there. Reception. Upstairs. Thank you. So uh, I forgot, I forgot how to say thank you then. It's not dobly. What is it? Ah, dear, oh dear. No, uh, oh, I forgot, it's completely escaped me right now. So I'll have to reacquaint myself with that one. This reception, nobody here. Whoo, made it. <laughs> yeah, you can see where I took that tumble in the ditch. <laughs> I tried to pick up the pace a little bit, not jogging, but I was power walking and as I just come off one of the paths I didn't see that it had a <laughs> ditch so I ended up straight down in it luckily it weren't a wet ditch otherwise that would have been that would have been fun anyway where is the staff I just remembered it's voila 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 <laughs> it's close anyway they know they know I'm saying thank you when I say that hey, the early impressions I'm liking what I'm seeing for 19 English pound breakfast included it is a proper hotel. 
and this was pretty much the cheapest sort of prices that I see in this area so I'm guessing there isn't many hostels perhaps I'm wrong maybe it's just because I'm booking so late in the day but we'll soon find out anyway because I'm ready uh, up. upstairs yes. Se 17 yes uh, oh. voila 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 <laughs> voila there you go I've got, got to keep remembering that it's difficult voila thank you and this is it home for the next two nights little little tight little cozy little cozy I don't mind that we got a balcony. Yes. Oh yeah. Is that open? There we go. Good view of a lorry and a petrol station. <laughs> Absolutely winning. Oh, I think that goes onto their balcony as well. I didn't realise that. So it's two people's balcony. <laughs> Have to keep that one in mind. Uh, I'm not going to be out there anyway. Not much of a view, is it? <laughs> so that's me bed. Give it a test. Got to give it the test. Ah, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah. Oh, that's better than last night's one. I can assure you of that. Oh, oh yeah. You little beauty. Now let's see what the bathroom's saying. Oh yeah. We got a light. We got lightage. There we go. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Having that. Got an emergency phone in there just in case. Not a power shower, but still nice and spacious. Good bit of toiletries. Shower cap, could come in handy, could come in handy for me. And some slippers. You know they're coming with me. Oh yeah, oh, size of them. Whew. Like walking on paper with them. Anyway, we're here, we're here. I've checked in, gonna sort myself out. I'm gonna just gonna go downstairs and eat down there because I'm not walking along that road again. So I think we'll wrap this video up here. I've made it to my next destination, which is Zenica. Zenica, I remembered. I remembered for a change. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the adventure. I told you it was going to be an adventure right at the beginning. I called it. It came true. It was an adventure. We're here now. All is well. And we'll explore Zenica tomorrow. Absolutely going in blind. Looking forward to it. I shall see you all in the next one. And remember, life is beautiful. Peace out, guys. Look at that, shaving set, complete with balm, and a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm used to these hostels, they don't look after you like that, so that is a little bit of a luxury, even though it probably didn't cost too much to come up with them. But anyway, it's the thought that counts, it's the thought that counts. Thinking about it, actually, this hotel has saved me quite a little bit, because that's my brother's Christmas present. There you go, there you go, Mark, you've got some slippers, a little shaving set, and a toothbrush. You're winning, mate. <laughs> Okay guys, a little bit of bonus footage for you. You know I said I was hungry, so I've ordered my plate and it's just arrived. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. And the price of this, got some bread as well. I'm not sure I'm gonna get on with that bread. But the price is 29, so 14 pound, 13 pound for all of that. So I'm gonna enjoy and I'll see you all on tomorrow's video. Check all of that out. Some of this, right? We've got chicken, we've got steak, we've got a sausage there, more steak, some chips underneath. <laughs> We've gone fully loaded. I said I was hungry and I've absolutely gone to town on this one. So I'll see you all on tomorrow's video, guys.